zero and negative exponents. The zero exponent rule is this, x to the power of zero or any number to the power of zero, the answer is just one. So x to the power of zero is one. Or any other number to the power of zero, the answer is one. So this one is the zero rule, the zero exponent rule. Another rule for negative num numbers, the negative powers. So when the number, let's take a look at this, when x is to the power of negative one, it simply means that the base is in the wrong side of the fraction. If you, you can just write any number over one, right? For example, you have five, you can write it over one. The answer is five. 10 over one is just 10. So here, when you see x to the power of negative one is over one, it simply means that x should not be in the numerator part. It should be in the denominator part. So you need to move it to the denominator and make the power positive. So equals to, now flip this one. When you flip a fraction, the power, the sign of the power changes. So if it is negative, it becomes positive. If it is positive, it becomes negative. X to the power of negative one over one is actually one over X, or one over X to the power of one, and we don't write the power of one. So one over X is the answer. Let's take a look at some examples here. Two to the power of negative one. So this one is actually, so if you write it over one, means that the power is negative. You want to make the power positive. So you need to move it to the denominator part. So it is one over two. And the power here is one, and we don't write one. One over two to the power of one is actually one over two. Next one. 3 to the power of negative 2 is actually 1 over 3 squared, and 3 squared is just 9, 1 over 9. 0 to the power of anything, any number, is just 0. Any number to the power of 0, except 0, is just 1. So 5xy to the power of 0 is just 1. Any number to the power of 0 except 0 is just 1. 10 to the power of 0, it's 1. 10 to the power of negative 8, if you want to write the power, if you want to make the power positive, just write 1 over 10 to the power of 8. 1 over 5 to the power of negative 1, we want to make it positive, so we need to flip these two values. So 1 over 5 becomes 5 over 1, to the power of just one, and we don't write it. Is the answer is just five. One third to the power of negative two is just flip this two. If you flip this one, it becomes three over one to the power of positive two, or actually it is three to the power of two, which is nine. 